Good to have you, sir. Thank you for having me, Papa. Thank you so much. You know, the cow represents growth. Mm -hmm. The cow represents growth because the Bible says in Peter, I believe, it says that you use the milk of the word to grow thereby. Mm -hmm. So when somebody is a sheep, there are other animals that they have to use to build momentum as a sheep. Mm -hmm. So the cow realm is what a sheep enters into for growth. Wow. The lion realm is what the sheep enters into for boldness and courage. Oh, wow. Mm. The ego realm is what the sheep enters into for waiting and patience. Oh, wow. Mm. You wait upon the Lord, you renew your strength. Isaiah understood eagles because Isaiah was an eagle. He spoke about the animal in which he perfected. Mm -hmm. Whatever animal you perfect is the animal that God selects wow. to be your mantra, your theme. Mm -hmm. So when you see the Lord Jesus calling for an ass, even the Lord Jesus took on a donkey realm because he was going to be um, led, led to be crucified. And he was going to act as if he was foolish. Wow. He was going to ask some questions. He was going to act like he was foolish. Mm -hmm. They was going to beat him. He was going to act like he was helpless. Wow. And remember, Balaam beat his donkey. Mm -hmm. So when you see the donkey being called by Jesus... This even is a realm of Jesus that the Bible says the foolishness of God in Corinthians is wiser than man's wisdom. Wow, wow, wow. Ah! That's so beautiful. What do you see there? <laughs> it's so powerful the way that he had to take up on that um, that animal for him to be like even, even humble. Yeah. You know, to be... And it's so powerful what you said that you that the animal that you have to represent is the one that you uh, the, take the main over it, right? Like the right. eagle and, and right. stuff like that. So, right, it's so powerful and amazing. And as a lamb, we have right. to take we have to take that the meaning over like a, like a lamb, so we can be more more humble, uh, exactly. more obedient, submissive, mm -hmm. willing to to listen to our our the voice of the Lord and follow Him. In every aspect that he wants us to go. Lamb, that's good. Lamb, L-A-M-B. L-A-M-B. In the word lamb is am. Mm. So I am is in lamb. Wow. So the, the God dimension in a lamb. So he was the lamb slain before the foundation of the world. So the world was not, um, the world was not even in existence when God took on the place of a lamb. He took an animal and made it his mantra to deliver the world that was going to come into existence. Now, the Bible says, do not be conformed to this world. Mm -hmm. So he was slain before the foundation of the world, but the world has transformed into evil. Mm -hmm. The world before was not evil. Mm -hmm. Wow. You understand? Yes. So what we call worldly now is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life. But the original world is blessing, mm -hmm. love, worship, peace, joy. So this is why when you're in the spirit, God brings you back into the original world. Mm -hmm. wow. and the original world is the ability to uh, uh, communicate with angels. Those cherubims that stood at the garden with the, uh, they stood at the garden. Those cherubims, they knew how to communicate with Adam without Adam speaking with them verbally. Wow. So even Adam knew not to come to the garden because Adam heard them. He knew that they would kill him. Wow. 
Wow. He knew that they would strike him. So this is the power of what we're talking about today. All these prophetic realms, <laughs> all these prophetic realms that we see operating through the animals. Good to have you, son. So, as you can see, son, you got to step into a cow to perfect yourself as a sheep. Because the cow, its mantra is milk. And you need some milk. <laughs> so, so, so when I cover them off good. So when, when so when, whenever somebody is is they they have many animals. So there's gas station animals. So you'll need to fuel up in your sheephood so that you, so you'll have to stop. There's electric animals. So you got to electrically charge your sheephood car, your sheep, but you got to go to the eagle to learn how to not disrespect God through your rising anxieties. Everybody will encounter anxiety. That's why the Bible said, be anxious for nothing. Because everything is going to propel you into anxiety. Bills, health, weight, uh, hairstyle, everything. Mm. <laughs> everything. Uh, appearance, everything going to guide you into anxiety. What you going to eat for the day, everything guides you into anxiety. When you going to go to sleep, if you going to go to sleep, why am I not going to sleep? <laughs> when am I going to finally go to sleep? How am I going to wake up? When am I going to wake up? Everything guides you into anxiety. So the funny thing about it is... When somebody is in sheephood, they are in a place where they have to have wisdom to know which animal am I called to make a pit stop to? Mm -hmm. Which animal do I glean? Am I a lamb led to the slaughter? Am I a lamb led to the slaughter? If I'm a lamb led to the slaughter, I shouldn't be defending myself. Mm -hmm. If I'm a lamb led to the slaughter, I shouldn't be defending my cause. I shouldn't be trying to make my point. I shouldn't be letting my voice be heard. Because in the lamb realm, my voice is stripped from me. Mm -hmm. So in the lion realm, I am vocal. In the lamb realm, my vocal cords are robbed. They're stripped. Mm -hmm. They're taken. They're subtracted from me. So think about it. In the lion, I talk. In the lamb, I untalk. In the, in the lion... I'm vocal in the, in the uh, lamb, my vocal cords are silenced. So if you're going to be the perfect sheep, you have to look at which animal am I walking in right now? Am I the elephant? Well, when I'm the elephant in the room, I can make shots. I can make requests. If I'm not the elephant in the room, if I'm not the elephant, I don't make shots. So so um, even people get out of line. So they eat, even children. So a child can't be an elephant because the child is not the one calling shots. Many people look to their children and say, do you think we should live here? Do you think I should be with this one? How you go to your child for elephant decisions? A parent is an elephant. Parents ask their children, do you want us, do you want to go live over here? We was thinking about living over here. No, you don't pick them in the place to make elephant decisions. You and so um even a man, it's okay for you to respect your wife or respect um uh, a, a woman that you're with, but there's certain things you're not supposed to bring her into. Because when you bring her into that, you're giving her elephant uh dimension. So then you can't get mad when that elephant rise up against you in other situations. Because mm. <laughs> the elephant will rise up. The trunks will hit you when, <laughs> when you don't want it to hit you. <laughs> Maybe turn around. <laughs> the, trunk, the, trunk, the trunks will hit you when you don't want it to hit you. <laughs> so, son, what you think about when we say um, 
uh, the pit stop, knowing which animal to glean from. So, and for that, I see levels. Uh, so, yeah. the person that you're connected to, your apostle, your man of God, he has all those animal realms in him. Yeah. And he teaches you through wisdom and understanding which animal to be, which pit stop to make. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if you try to be an elephant in the presence of your man of God, and it's mm -hmm. not your time, or, or you don't understand, you're not supposed to be an elephant at that time in, in your man of God. You're supposed to be a lamb, or you're supposed to be a dove, something a little bit more softer, more humble. Mm. You gotta have that understand there's levels, even in the animal kingdom, there's a hierarchy. Um, so you have to have your man of God who has all of the whole animal kingdom and the spirit in his realm, yeah. in his mind, to yeah. teach you through wisdom what you need to be at the time you need to be it. Maybe at work you need to be, yeah. you know, a serpent. Yeah. You need to be wise, but yet yeah. still, you know. But then at, at your house, maybe you need to be a little bit more submissive. Yeah. You know, then maybe you need to go into another animal realm. But you can't get that unless you get that from the man of God. He has to impart that My animal goodness. realm to you. My goodness. You made some good points because I see you in the workplace, but then when you get inside the, the house and... And, and then see, watch this here. You could be a janitor at the workplace. Mm -hmm. You could be a lamb at the workplace. But then you got to become an elephant when you're parenting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can't parent your boss while you're cafeteria. Mm -hmm. Or you can't parent the customers that's leaving trash. You can't go... You, you can't be a janitor and go rebuke the person that left that banana on the side <laughs> and say, Hey, sir, you need to pick that up. <laughs> because, see, now I'm being a lion. I'm being an elephant when I'm supposed to be a lamb. Right. So the only way for you to get out of the flesh is for you to know which animal am I supposed to. What people don't, the mystery of animals is this. God created the animals, which mean they came from his sperm bank. Mm -hmm. So you know how we as men, we create male or female. God creates fish, amphibian, well. God creates a turtle. So even the turtle, what is the mystery of a turtle? Look at its shell. It protects its body. But its head is exposed. What does that signify? God's head need to be exposed to you. For you to be protected as the body of Christ. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. 